And we're back. What are we doing now? Looks like we've got cumulative frequency chart in front of us. Okay, so we already did it for year 11. We're going to show you some settings that Autographs needs. For year 11, we did a count. We sorted the data in Excel just to make sure it's doing things right. 0 to 3, there were 31. If you count 0 to 3, make your frequency. You can change this to whatever you want. We've got it at count. So there are 31 students in year 11 who watched 0, 1, 2, or 3 hours on a school night. Okay? Autograph needs you to tell it that it's less than 4. This took us a little bit of playing around, but when you click on here, you can see that the inequality is a weak inequality at this top end. So you need less than 4 in your frequency table, and then Autograph will treat it right. And we can see that because here's our 4. We come up and over, and it's 31, which actually from our Excel count was how many students watch 0, 1, 2, or 3 hours. Okay, so this makes sense from this data. Okay, it's just as easy from for us to add year seven. So we go to group data, which it needs for the cumulative frequency chart. It won't let you do single data. So group data. This is now year seven. We can use raw data. This time we need to go at our year seven data here, copy it. Doesn't need to be sorted, we can just put that in there. Then we press OK. It automatically decides, okay, we're gonna use a class with three, and it did the max and min. We used groups of four there. Should we also change that to four? I think that would be sensible. It makes it easier to compare the data. Okay, and when we clicked four there, you notice these numbers there changed. We still have used raw data, and then we go OK. Now, that, I thought I'd change that to year 7. All right. Then we can now create the chart, and there it is, year 7's blues. Not too bad. No, it's perfect. OK. Now these are lined up, and since our classes are lined up, we have some interesting points here to talk about. This is interesting. How come? Well, it, it, here, at that point, the exact same number of frequency have occurred that oh. they overlap. So there's some interesting stuff going on there. Right all the way up until sort of around 14 hours, it looks like the red group, the year 11s, are always watching more TV than the year 7s. All right, so the depth of analysis from a cumulative frequency, what gives us more, what do we want more from a cumulative frequency than we could have got from a box plot? We can go, certainly go down into more detailed percentiles. In the box plot, we can only look at 25, 50%, um, et cetera, in the, the quartiles, whereas here we can look at any percentage that we, we want to. We can also um, look at spread of data as well, looking at the steepness of the slopes. Mm -hmm. Lots down here which is healthy, uh, a few up here, not so healthy.